Um, we're in the limbo now. This is surely a pre-recorded message and not me just walking around. No. Okay. Okay, now we're fine. Is this a stream? Or a recording? <laughs> I have no clue. This might be either. I might have just pre-recorded the whole stream and the whole analysis. And hey, Opine! <laughs> welcome, welcome everybody. How is he going? How is he going? Another scale stream? Well, like, bro, three times in the same week? What am I on? That's crazy. Like, I rarely stream this much. Like, I, I genuinely have some free time now, so I'm like, might as well. Um, let's do this so I can actually hear the game as well. Look, have fun. You will find me. I cannot write. And so I was like, why not? Why not stream today as well? Maybe, maybe it's a too much. Maybe it's not. And also off stream, I really appreciate for Fluffy Flame. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. He did it like 16 hours ago. I was not live at that time. No worries. Okay, that guy just completely failed to jump for the path. And of course, uh, as usual, I did not warm up. Hello, sir. No, you're not stabbing my teammate. Okay. So yeah, I really appreciate the Twitch Prime Fluffy if you're listening in. Get him there. Where's the last guy? Is he gonna jump on me? No, he's right there. I'm gonna do it like that. Jump down. Okay, now he's running that way. I have like no health. Okay, teammate got him. Very cool. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I bet Fluffy used the Twitch Prime on because I, co I completely forgot to, you know, <laughs> give him a subscription so he can uh, spam the tavern emojis in the IBL matches. Alrighty. And also, I got the Discord channel now. Discord server. Like, I was like, why not? Like, last stream, I remember Padlock mentioning it that uh, Dino kind of forgot him to, you know. No! Teammate, no! That was the sole purpose why I used up my speed spark. Shit. That's very not good. Yeah, so. Padlock said that Dino, Dino forgot to notify him. Because usually Dino notifies him, so. I'm like, why shouldn't I notify you guys about my stream? Like, you know, why should I not have a Discord Discord server? It's like super default for now, you know, nothing big. Oh, how did I miss that? Get a sword here. For me too. Oh, completely missed the crit. Need to go mid. Ouch. Ah, unfortunate. But there was no mid pressure though as well. But Echo had a lot of health left, sadly. So it was a really un, um, unfavorable fight for me. Would have been really clutch if I would have won that. Alrighty. Also today, uh, I I would like to analyze the preseason pandemonium's games, like well, one of them, the finals, because I think uh, one of the matches was really interesting. Um, go make sure we take care of that potion and one of the matches uh, one of the maps were actually like uh, really great in it other than the first two rounds so anyone that doesn't know what IBL is or the preseason pandemonium turning it's basically professional bell boxes bell boxing and I'm gonna be analyzing those matches oh hello it's me mr. ocean gamers himself Okay. Still there. Ouch. Yeah, I'm not winning that. I was in a very ter terrible spot. So basically... Wait, how did I get 7 kills and only 1 win? What the heck? Wait, what? This is my first game of the day! What? Eh? Okay, sure. I guess, I'll take it. <laughs> 
Hey Pine, how's it going? You watched back your analysis of those games last stream and honestly it was very insightful, heck yeah. <laughs> like I genuinely was surprised, like, you know, I, I do not have the viewer count on. Like, I'm not sure if I have told you guys, but I do not have my viewer count on because I don't want to stress about it. So when, when I checked back the analysis video, it uh, the analysis part of the stream, it turns out that um, there wasn't a down spike there. Like, I, I, I thought the analysis was would be boring as fuck, so, you know. But I'm like, oh shit, maybe it's not boring. So, let me do it again. Because if you guys enjoy it, then might as well, you know, right? Oh, the map I really want to show you about is definitely classic, okay? Classic, classic like Serpentine versus uh, Nova had a really... <laughs> Uh, yeah, really nice classic played out. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a goofy map. Yeah, where actually our goat, Deeper MC, was playing like really meh with the sharpshooter kit. So that that's what I really want to analyze here, like how to play sharpshooter on classic and then, um, you know, show it to you guys there, okay? That's gonna be the analysis for today. Or anything else you guys ask for, like, you know, if you guys want to a want me to analyze a Season 1 Wolfpack versus Galaxy game, you know, or Wolfpack versus uh, Divine Rising game, then I could do that as well. It would not be as insightful and as recent, you know, but we, we might still be able to learn something from that. And then Echo, not an ace. Unfortunately, not an ace. Alrighty, so that's the plan for today. No, you choked, unfortunate. Yeah, I probably should have been spectating. I'm sorry, fine. That's my fault. I should have been spectating. <laughs> Alright, but first of all, we are doing some some good old battle box solo win streaking. Hello, sir. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go aggro with Pine here. Yeah, what am I doing? No, when, whenever I'm splashing pots, I need to splash, splash them on their feet. Hello. Yeah. Why did I try to straight line another guy again? You're not giving away, sir. Let's go. Very cool. Alrighty. Yeah, also, we had a scream against the Golden Goldens. The DA League. And, you know, I, I'm playing in Tavern B League. Shot glass. And uh, yesterday we had a scream against... No, not yesterday. Two days ago, actually. Yeah, two days ago. We had a scrim against Golden Golden's A League, which consists of like uh, Skullad, Gilk, Crunchy, and uh, Zay, and T5, and uh, Kula's Green. Yeah, th that's the lineup we were facing. Oh, hello, sir. You're you're really trying to murder me here. Okay, but fine. Get, gets him. Okay, I should not be using that many levies. Well, it's fine. It's not ideal. I'm fine with using that many levies. Nobody's gonna ever feel here. Uh, tribute too. Yeah, I should just go here. Hello. I did not have. I, I, I wanted to throw an orb there. Go here, go here. Two bullets. Oh, hey, they gap, bro. Okay. 15 seconds winning end game. Did I hit that? I hit that. Nice. Very good. Holy, I actually hit that shot. I, I was not listening, I was yapping, so I did not hear if I uh, hit it or not. Okay, can Lime win? Lime won! Oh, that's the win streak starting! Let's go, guys! We're starting the win streak! Heck yeah! Is this, are these bell box challenges? No, these are not bell box challenges. We might as well recycle. Okay, I guess we're not recycling. I'm just gonna update the board. Whatever. Yeah, so we're, uh, we were uh, screaming another IBL team, which is basically Golden Golden's A League versus us, my team, Shot Glass B League. And we were trying out some new line out, lineups, and we played a total of six maps. Six. And somehow we won five of them. <laughs> the only map we lost to Golden Golden's A League was uh, Goldmine. Uh, we lost it uh, three to four. So by one round. <laughs> Like that, for Goldmine, we had literally zero strategies. <laughs> so, like, I understand why we lost it. Like, I, I did not think we could win Goldmine against any teams just yet, because we don't have strategies for it, you know? 
you're thinking of trying some solo win streaking yourself? Since you probably solo queue more than anyone else? Heck yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, fine. It, it's super fun. Well, for at the beginning it's fun, you know. Whenever you do it a little bit too much, it um, might be a little bit, um, you know, infuriating, raging. Padlock, how is it going? Welcome, welcome. Welcome in. Yo, Padlock, I made a Discord uh, just to ping people whenever I go live. It's in the pinned messages above the chat. <laughs> so, you know, you don't need to rely on Dino anymore to ping you. Yeah, so basically about this challenge, you know, solo win streak challenge, uh, uh, watch my call it. Like, it might be infuriating at second, but uh, the more you play... I have been playing this challenge for like a year, man. Over a year I have been grinding this. I have I have held I have even held the the world record for a little while. Uh, that's very bad. Oh, that's thank you. I I, I like the lovey. Are people gonna help me? Not really. Doesn't look like it. Never mind. They're helping. Then we can go in. Get him. Very nice. Three. And kill still for the Asu. Let's go. Gimme gimme. <laughs> Yeah, but the more you play, if, if you have played um, the Bellbox solo win streak challenge for over a year, then you start to realize that, oh shit, this is actually a really great uh, technique by solo win streaking. It's a really great technique to enhance your mental fortitude, okay? So you don't rage out on, so on, on random noobs, okay? Marie, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Long time no see, Marie. Doo -doo -doo. And so the more you play solo win streak, you realize to not care about whatever the random's doing, you know? You just try your best. Oh, hello. And then if the randoms help you, they help you. If they don't, then, you know, you just play some really nice 1 v 4 -ing. Okay, I did not hear it because I was yapping. Also, that probably... Okay, I need to help this random here. Oh, the opponents actually have a 1 block filled in. Okay, I missed that all. That team is getting gangbang. Very bad. No! Oh! Oh, very bad. No, I jumped into those webs, bro. No. Yeah, also back about the golden golden scrim. So yeah, we kind of beat their A League uh, five to one in maps. Uh, so yeah, one of them was a four zero. Like we four zero to them on Slay. Okay, four one on Villa. Uh, what else? What what else did we play? Like, we were playing some scuffed lineups. Like, I only played two maps myself. Like, no, 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 three, three maps. Three maps. I only played three maps out of uh, the six maps myself, because we were trying out uh, new lineups, you know. That was pretty crazy. And of course, in Slay and Villa, I have played. On, on Villa, I actually played Healer. Like, I genuinely <laughs> tried playing Healer on Villa. You know, it of course it worked very well. That's why we four won them. Actually, actually, it did not work at all, but we still somehow managed to uh, beat them up. You know, oh, that's an opponent, and that's two opponents. Try to do that. Er, I could not escape, unfortunate. Dino, how is it going? Welcome, welcome. Yes, I made a Discord. Uh, I made it like two hours ago. You know, <laughs> set up like really basic stuff because I was like, you know, like. If you really want to get some notifications, then I might as well just, you know, make a Discord server just for the reason that I ping you guys, you know? Your purpose is gun dino, oh no! <laughs> it's okay, you were... Nah, you're never useless. You will. Pa you were Padlock's uh, number one pinging source. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I only played three maps. I played Classic, Villa and... Uh... Uh, yeah, Slay. Classic villain Slay. And then classic petting the plushies, like, yeah. Yo, do, 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 do. Do, 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 Pet the plushies, yo. We petting them plushies, heck yeah. Yeah, I only played three max and on classic, like, uh, we developed some really crazy strategies, okay? On classic, we did not have neither Casey or Robbie there because they needed to go. So without our uh, melee PvPers, uh, we cooked some really, uh, really interesting strategies that we will be using in IBL, hopefully, you know. So, so for our, for our first week, I really would. Oh, that's an image person. Hello. Like I, I see your sprint particles. Oh, that's a healer. Kill healer before. No, he regrouped. 
We failed! Yeah, so on Classic, if we get that map in a... Ooh, I'm not doing that, that's too risky. Give me that bullet, give me bullets, give me bullets. Um, take the off angle. Okay, that teammate just went in super risky. We don't get the Dream guy out there because he's the healer. Yes, we hit the Dream second time. Now we just wait, the teammate's going in. Those guys actually know how to play here. I'm just gonna play passive here. Very nice. Now we can just bait him to here, into my pot, hopefully. Aim, aim right here. Wait for the teammates. And then he went that way. Very nice, cool. Yeah, so like, if we get to play... Wait, that, wait, that was playing against me week one! Fuck, why am I saying this? Shit! <laughs> Wait, I completely forgot I was playing Dino fucking literally in the opening day of IBL. Like a Monday. One, two... Oh my god, three days! <laughs> Dino, we're facing up in three days. In IBL, in professional battle boxing. Aye, aye, that's very bad. Run, run, run. Get away with our teammates here. Ouch, yeah. It is news to you. It's fine, Dino is clueless. It's news to you. Oh, ay, ay. Yeah, we're playing Shinji Kaito, which is the team Dino's playing for. 1v2. Oh, I completely blundered this round. It was my fault. It wasn't even my randoms being bad. It was me being bad and Dragon Nice says. <laughs> Aren't we in different leagues? Uh, in different divisions, yes, but in B League, you play every other team once. So what the, what the different divisions actually mean is that uh, you don't uh, fight them for the playoff spots, okay? So in each division, the top four teams gonna advance to the playoffs, and um, you know that's basically the sole purpose of divisions, nothing else. So you're still gonna be playing the other divisions, but you're not gonna be competing against them in points. That's basically it. He hasn't seen his team skins, and you have sent to him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Dino. You gotta start locking in. Wait, did pink draw? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. My risky opening got completely countered and we have no map control. We have no map control. Yay. Hello. Am I getting stabbed? I am getting stabbed. I, I, I potted myself. Okay, what's happening? I literally have no clue what's happening there, man. <laughs> oh, your teammate Joy Fish did. That's what happened. <laughs> The joyfish moment. I should not be laughing about joyfish moments because it happened to me. Like last stream in classic. Why am I laughing at joyfish moments? Because it's funny. Whenever it doesn't happen to you, the joyfish moment is funny. But are am am I not like A-League? No, I'm I'm B League. I'm playing in B League. What do you mean, I know? I played A League last season and now I decided to smurf. Wait, what the heck? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I, I thought, uh, I thought malfunction was there. Yeah, I'm playing in B League this season. I'm playing in shot glass, so we're literally facing on day one of IBL <laughs> against each other, which is gonna be crazy. Yeah, so now I should probably just apply some uh, mind warfare, you know, by trying to get you guys to pick some maps that would be favorable for me, and not you guys, you know. <laughs> like, it's gonna be fun. We're literally gonna be opening against each other. That's crazy. Oh, run. I actually hit him. Very nice. That guy still wants to murder me. My teammates help me. Very nice. We take mid control now. Take the tree as a good... Take the tree as a good sharpshooter would take. And now we just both them. Shot him once. And... Voter means dead. Well, that person just dead. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so Dino, what what about uh, what about if you play a map pool of like you know like classic gold mine and uh, who? Which is our third best map? Spaceship. What what if we play like um, yeah? What if we play that classic gold mine and spaceship? Wouldn't it be that a fun map pool dino, right? Oh fuck, I forgot to use my speed spark. Okay, it's a 3 on 1, now that means I need to go in. And, and I'm not a 3 on 1, hello sir. Oh, that's a fucking duel here. Hello sir. Am I getting followed? Oh, I'm missing it. There you go. 
Uh, I want to already take mid control here. Just to make sure. You get Levy Kill in for the badge quest, badge grind thing, you know. The Shinji Kaito Sharpshooter does not come back until the day before the start of IBL. Oh, Box! Box has not been practicing with you guys? Well, the good thing that Box is insane at sharpshooting, so, you know. He doesn't need practice. He's boxed. You'll keep, you'll keep that in mind to watch out for, yeah. And who knows, uh, what if I'm just sending, you know, just telling you some fake information. Okay, there's teammates behind me, very nice. Now we fly. Oh, there's a healer. Where, where's the lost guy? I wanna target the healer there if I can. Oh, that was very bad. Okay, lost guy's there. Now we need to take care of that guy. He's the biggest threat for us. We'll go back to the tree to keep mid control. I wanna get uh, close because I'm running out of bullets. There's that healer. There's the Moai healer. To the Moai healer. Get the Moai healer. I need bullets now. Erm. Um, yeah, I, I don't care about him filling. There you go. Very cool. Ace from afar? Question mark. Oh, that's an ace from afar. Let's go. Ace from afar and a victory. Heck yeah. You are going to Benville, right? Uh, most definitely. Actually, no. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be banning uh, prison. Did you guys know that prison is in the map pool now? That's a lie, by the way. No, prison is not in the map pool. That's just a lie. There were some nicks in this game? Relieve the mage sounds like a nick person. No? <laughs> uh, yeah, yo, so padlock. Yeah, of course I'm gonna be banning uh, Villa. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And also it's uh, starting to be the end of July, guys. Which means the fishy game is coming for MCCI! This is the most optimal way to take mid top mid control, by the way, which I showed you guys, okay? Just keep that in mind. Those guys are just chilling in the house. Very nice. I think that was a healer there. Someone killed himself. Is that a fill? No, not yet. 1v2. Both of them are in the corner. Very nice. That's a healer, bro! What is that scam? I'm getting scammed. Dude, they just healed back to max health. I need to jump down. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm not winning that because they healed back. See? That person was max health. What is that scam? That's such a scam. Surely, yeah. Like, I have played against uh, your team, like, once, against Shinji Kai. Well, it, it was, like, kind of half A-League, half B-League for you guys. Also, any for anyone that's just tu tuning in and, we, and you don't know what we are talking about, we are talking about the Professional Battle Box League, IBL. Which is basically, I'm gonna be facing the team where uh, Dino is. So, yeah. Da -da -da. 1v1. Uh, I win the 1v1, yes. Hello, oh, trying to shoot me anyways. Hey, that's what we're yapping about right now. Ooh, there are, that guy's getting gangbanged right now. Okay, I just stole two kills. I'm, I just, there you go, that's what I wanted to do originally. I'll help you, sir. Oh, you did not need no help. Very nice. Don't worry, you can share all the secrets with you. I are definitely not on Syndicate, yeah, nah. And then, you know, the next day I just see Padlock has been signed by Syndicate. <laughs> the Shell Glass versus Syndicate is gonna start on Monday. Yeah, IBL is gonna be starting on Monday. It's gonna be super fun. If you wanna watch some professional bell boxing, then make sure to tune into the IBL. It's gonna be on Monday. I'm gonna be playing in 3 p.m. EST. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, guys, uh, you have noticed that how my arrows are doing 4.5, right? Ooh, that's a healer. You. I do not like healers. 
At least that's all the things, uh, all the orbs used up. Please pick me. Very nice. Okay, cool. We win this. But sadly, we do not uh, win that thing. Do we know what time the games are yet? Uh, yes, it's at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Which is going to be 9 p.m. Central European Time. Uh, I don't know which time zone you're in, Dino. I, I don't know the Aussie time for that. I'm sorry. 8k, let's go. Oh, I should have done a 100 kill speedrun speed today, man. I'm getting a lot of high kill games today. What the heck happened to me? All those melee practice that I definitely did paying off finally? Heck yeah. <laughs> You're not even on the Syndicate server. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, Dino's kind of listening in as well, and then he's he's kind of one of the people who's on the team who I'm going to be playing against on uh, Monday, so, you know. Where is this information? Uh, well, your team owner should have uh, told you already about that, and uh, the other way you can uh, check out the schedule is in the IBL Discord server. You go to hashtag schedule, and then uh, you can just see. You can just see it, you know. Hashtag schedule, and there's a Google document, and in that doc... In that Google document, there's just everything you need to know. Rob, how's it going? Uh, welcome in, welcome, welcome. You're going to be watching and feeling sad that I'm not, that you're not in IBL. No, you're a shot glass supporter though. Heck yeah, fine, let's go. Then you can spam all those shot glass emojis. <laughs> you know, if you have a Twitch Prime, then you can do that. You know. Twitch Primes are really great, honestly, because that's literally just steals money from uh, Jeff Bezos. And who doesn't like stealing money from uh, millionaires? You know? Legally stealing money, of course. Of course. You're good. You're doing great. Uh, you haven't played BB in three days, though. Oh, okay. That's interesting. But Bellbox is Bellbox, you know. I would advise you to play some BB. You're not a syndicate supporter, you have been supporting all Nova all your life, bad luck. But Nova's a completely new team. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste some arrows there. Well, Nova used to be Street Sharks, so... Are you a Street Shark supporter as well? That's, like, that's just two healers, uh, heals, heal orb spamming right there, that's the problem. Okay, we need to take care of this guy. Backstab him. There you go, cool. Whew, we win these. Very nice. So close, but we win these. We love stealing money from billionaires legally, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know why you won't? Because you might accidentally ruin the win streak. You will give... You oh no, the trapdoor PTSD. You will give it to me again. Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully that's not gonna happen today. Like, you know, hopefully nobody gonna TNT cannon me down, you know, with three of my teammates. That guy already suffered like five damage. Okay, very nice. That's one out of four health orbs. Okay, oh, hello, fine. Oh, very nice lag orb, by the way. Okay, teammates did not realize Pine is here, by the way. That's fun. Sparkling cheese now. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we win this. Heck yeah. Darkiness. I remember teaming with this guy in, uh, like, Battle Champs 7, so, like, a year ago. <laughs> but you don't think Trapdoor is on? Uh, nah, you need the Goat Wizard Keys here as well, if you want to TNT me like that again. You need both Trapdoor and Wizard Keys. You need both of those people. Okay, let's see. There's a 1v1 and Model loses the 1v1. Ooh, okay. Thought model would be winning that. Okay, what we need is three kills. You know, they would be down to do that again. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sure they would love to do that again. Yes, I, I know. Because I never remembered that there's double kitting on this game, man. I wish double kitting would be removed. 
it would be much better for the competitiveness of the game but yeah of course the other thing is the good thing about double kitting is that you just always get to play the kit you want to so you know that's the good casual part of the game okay now we go in Gun a beautiful gunsling we're still on you know we're not on this nope run one for teammate, then we reload, and now we go back in. Run, and that's a GG. Weepy. Said, Weepy, there you go. Very cool, uh, very cool. You can join Arctic Guards, Australians are not allowed. What? No way. Is Wizard Keys that mean? Trash Panda, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hey, you just wanted to pop in and say hi before you go back to sleep. Have a nice sleep, Panda. We appreciate you showing up here. <laughs> Why aren't all these allowed? Like, uh, it's basically like an owner personal preference, you know, for scheduling issues, you know? Because if there would be a team with, like, Americans, Europeans, and Australians as well, then uh, it would be scheduling nightmare, you know? Uh, it would be very hard to get all all of your uh, or all of your uh, people, you know, actually show up to a, to a game, you know? Yeah. Wizard Kid doesn't like houses. Oh, may maybe, maybe that's the, that's the reason, but I, I think it's just scheduling issues, you know? I think that's why uh, most, um, well, not most, like some team owners actually decide to just pick two regions out of like the three main regions, you know, like Australia, Asia, then there's the EU region, okay, EU slash Africa, I meant, and there's the America region as well. So you just pick two out of these three and then you should be fine with scheduling games. Well, I think maybe fine because, you know. What if a full Australia, Australian team uh, is just facing a EU slash NA hybrid team? You know, th th that's still like scheduling hell, so... Yeah, IBL's interesting. No. I knew it. I knew it you were gonna, you're not gonna go the, directly down, because you knew, how, you knew I was gonna shoot there, of course. So I'm gonna change up my game. Okay, two people here, very nice. Oi, oi. Do we have some heals? That's one healer down. That poison was a bit late. Very bad. Oh, even worse. And now I'm stuck in spawn. Very bad. That oh no! How was that not my kill? What? No! He got the hit in before I did. That dream guy is one health though. Oh, darkness is one health too. Ah, oh, yeah, natural region. I don't think that random. Oh, the random's not offending block crossbow, but the random somehow with the A. Wait, how do you offend with not offending the crossbow? Did you steal all the kills, sir? What? Bro, imagine how good that guy would be if he would actually offend crossbow. Like, imagine how good he would be if he would have offended the crossbow. There's, you know. Is there any Asians in IBL? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are a lot. The fire, because why not? Yeah, okay, now we can go this way. Even though this is a tree, we fall. Oh no, 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 I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, exactly, because of that. Run. Am I getting chased? Okay, that guy's getting banged. Very nice. Do you have some heals, people? Okay, he's poisoned, very nice. Wizard Keys dropped Sky Oreos because he's the Australian, no way. But didn't Sky Oreos play for Wizard Keys last season, you know? Wasn't he in Arta Antarctic Gladiators? The last season Sky Oreos played in Antarctic Gladiators, no? Which is Wizard Keys team. Uh, you think you will have a bit, bit more practice on your TNT and you will be great for the next season? Heck yeah, Rob! Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's a good plan. Good idea. I could not. I could not decide what I drive on to say idea or plan. Okay, let's see. Here they're going. No, no one going for the potions. Uh, this guy's soul here, so we wanna. Okay. No. I, I misclicked. No, I'm just getting oofed. I misclicked. No. I pressed two instead of one. So it went to my potion, and I tried to reload the crossbow. Bro, moment. Robert, you have already been called a TNT god or menace by the founder of IBL. Heck yeah. Chandigiri dog and trapdoor too. You ding. 
he was. You don't think he knew he was Australian before he picked him up? Oh, okay. Well, the thing is that... Then Wizard Keys did not realize for a whole season that Sky Oreos was Ozzy. Like... Or... You know, like, or what happened? Like... You know. Because Sky Oreos has uh, played or already played a season for Wizard Keys. So I genuinely have no clue what happened over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's very interesting, honestly, like... I have been teamed with Darkness for three rounds in a row, that's crazy. Or Darkness, I mean. Yeah, sorry. You got two reasons why to pick you up in IBL next season. Your go to that feeling as randoms. <laughs> yeah, and then mid TNT. Yeah, but feeling in IBL is way harder and way more precise, honestly. If you feel at the incorrect time, then you will immediately die and just lose a round for your team, so... Yeah, it takes way more. Nobody can test it. Oh, never mind. I just missed that guy. Hit him twice. Hit that guy. Those guys are zero health right now. Oh. Okay, I should just probably... Oh, hello. Hello, model. This three... casual 3v1. Okay. Proper turtle. That might be a nick as well. Uh, I'm gonna do this. No, I messed up the jump. I wanted to do just go up here. But I mean, very fancy. <laughs> well, he wouldn't just drop a player mid season. Well, we. Watch McLeod. You can drop players mid season if you want, you know? Like, it's not against the rules. Like, you know, like Golden's dropped their entire roster. And then, you know, got Scarlet, King Luke, and stuff like that, you know? So. <clears throat> it can be happened. You're Rob if you're capable of anything. Okay. Last guy sniper, no. I missed all my shots there. That's very bad. Okay. Teammates are going in. Now I can triangle, triangle, triangle. Let's triangle these guys. Very nice. Oh, I, I, the triangle callout is basically the best. Oh my god, it's the best callout. I'm not sure who made it up, but it was one of my teams, you know, like one of the A-League taverns. I don't know who, who, who called it Triangle first, but it's just such a funny callout. Alrighty, there's only a duo time Pog over there. A duo time let's go, I mean, no, trio time is Pog, duo time is let's go. Oh, I messed up the potion. Oh, oh I almost hit that uh, orb as well. Hmm. Now we just mash pitting here, very nice. Okay, number five, cool. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, also about um, some update about my educational content. Uh, I still am editing the, you know, Battle Box Basics video about offhanding. Like also, also yeah, uh, a good a good thing to keep in mind. If you offhand blocks, then make sure to know how to correctly feel. Because what I have been noticing in the randoms lately, that they offhand the blocks, and they just feel like they would not have blocks in offhands. Like, they're not just break place, break place, break place, no. They're breaking everything, they're breaking all nine of the blocks, and then after, they place. Yeah, they're not doing like, you know, like, break place, break place, break place, break place, no, 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 break Break, 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 place, 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 place. It, it's just so dumb, like, why would you, like, why would you, exactly, first of all, that, what you just said, Rob, that gives you an opportunity to fully feel. The other thing, you're offending blocks to do this, to do that, you know, literally, that's the reason you're offending blocks. And I have seen people offending blocks and still, uh, still not, you know, still not feeling the proper way, which is crazy. Okay, I'm fine. Hello. You're, you're off handing blocks, sir. Hello, model. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, run, run, run. Just take the random model. Just eat the random. Don't me. Not me. Yeah, so I can now, you know, just janitor and janitor. There you go. I have Jedi Boy on my team. Yo, I just noticed. He's Nightmare B League. I'm gonna be facing him later in the season. And and then play. <laughs> and then they play slowly too. Yeah, as well. They just play like it. Like, just, just butterfly click, please. Spam. Just spam. 
spam as hard as you can. Okay, so what I've been talking about, you know, the place, break and place, break and place, break and place, you know, you see I'm trying to place it. But randoms offending blocks do this. Break, 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 place, 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 okay, hello. Yeah, Ch Chickenator has a clip at the end of one of his montages just filling the opponent after breaking all nine blocks. Exactly. Like, that's not how you feel. Like, especially when you're offhanding blocks, okay? Like, I, I don't mind if people, you know, like, does not offhand blocks and then feel the improper way, you know, the slow way. I don't mind that. But if you actually decide to offhand your blocks... Oh my god, what's that setup that will form the opponent? Like, if you actually decide to offhand blocks... Oh my god. What am I doing? Hey, what am I doing? I blundered so badly. I'm yapping and not blunder and not playing. Fuck. Like, uh, if you actually are trying to, you know, properly feel, and that's the reason you wanted to offhand blocks, then please properly feel. Like, see what what Jedi Boy is doing now. See that that randoms in proper feeling. What Jedi Boy did for that block, that's the proper feeling. Okay, clear example. Alrighty. Yeah, possible. Your editor slash ha friend has been asking you to give uh, to give him your clips of bell box for the next montage. But it's not coming in a bit. Yeah, I would love to see a Rob FTNT montage. Hello, healer. Oh, he's the Moai guy. I've already aced that guy today. I stole a kill. Just check back. I don't know where the other two people are. That's why I'm keep looking at, at my back. Hello, sir. Oh, no, dude, he healed. Very nice. Where, where's the other two people? I literally have no clue. Right here, right there. Bam. Reload, shoot. There you go. Very nice. Expect if you upload the clips and send them to him, you get uh, 45 seconds already. But just want to have it, uh, you have like the 100 explosive kills. Ah, I see, I see. Montage of 100 explosive kills. Heck yeah. That would be very cool. <laughs> yeah, again, IBL just starting next season is gonna be so much fun. Like, last season I played in A-League Tavern, now I play in B-League Tavern, because sm I'm smurfing, you know? <laughs> I'm just literally smurfing in B-League right now. And I'm just so excited it's back. Like, if you guys want to see some competitive battle box action, then just make sure to tune into any of the IBL streams. It's starting next week. Like, there's already games um, every day of the week, which is crazy. People has already scheduled it. And every day, every day next week, we're gonna have at least one of, of an IBL game, okay? Also, the casters are goated all the time. There are names like Black Shone, Arby Smith, D Trapdoor Live, Diggity TV. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys already know some of these names. They're gonna be casting the event. Not the event, I mean the league! The Bellbox League! Can you just go, go like live mid-game? Uh, that that would, yes, exactly, stat strategy league, bad luck answered it to you. Uh, it, it's not a good idea to stream your games. It's it's a bad idea, alright? You do not want the strats to be leaked. Like, I have made some, uh, whatchamacallit, some... Um, uh, how do you say it? Like voice comms videos where you can actually get a peek, like what happens in the in the middle of a tavern voice comms video. You know, like in the middle of the game and we're playing, we're communicating and stuff like that. Like what happens there? You know, show time. But, but I have edited that um, recording, uh, you know, in a way that it doesn't leak any strats and it's just fun. Trevor's the only no, you know. Aww. Just record it for VOD review scales. Uh, yeah, I I have recorded all of my games. Yes, of course. Team of three, but we are cracked, hopefully. Okay, if you type pog. This map is a goofy map, though, so anything could happen. That's a that's the sad thing about this map. We just play together. <laughs> Maybe you'll pog. There's a person coming in here. That's a flash. That's not gonna work. I, I just don't... Okay, that's three people. Uh, we cannot really push this unless flashbang. Okay. Okay, that guy. I'm not sure what that guy's doing. Okay, Midgard. All four people are here. Now we just run here. Let me get the skill. Let the bulls come a little bit more. Very nice. Good. Now we just don't miss the jump here. And then we feel. 
<laughs> Don't miss the jump. Oh no, he he, uh, he was uh, bridging. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought I thought Dark missed the missed the jump some reason. Uh, he would not. He just tried bridging. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so yes, uh, I will be uplo uploading some uh, IBL content as well for my channel as well, you know, from next week on. As much as I, as much as I can, uh, you know, edit. As much as I can uh, get myself to edit. There's a guy flanking like we can just go over here. That's very bad. Ouch, I... Ooh, that was completely... Well, why did I push? You, you're not supposed to push, push on classic. Uh no, I just completely threw the win trick. You're not supposed to play Sean Classic whenever they are not showing themselves. The only way to push is this, this, and this. Take tower control. What am I doing? And we got flanked. Yeah, it would not have been a po it would not have been a problem. There's a hundred hundred percent chance you're gonna be playing B League Rob when if you get drafted into IBL. Who knows? Maybe some need some. Maybe some team uh, needs some TNT A League player or B League tier player. You know, whatever. What could happen? Yeah, I missed. I don't think Pink. Ah, yeah. oh, that's so bad. Unfortunate. Uh, I played so bad that second round. I was so logged in as well. I should not have pushed there. Like, the correct play there, we seen the solo flank rush. Like, we should have all just turn around, turn around, murder the guy right here, you know, who's flanking 3v1, then make it into a 3v3 scenario. Ah, uh, unfortunate. You're always pushing on classic. Yeah, it could happen. <laughs> You don't know you're not popular for your BB skills? Who knows? Maybe you will be popular for your TNT skills. Oh, unfortunate! Uh, I thought that was the run. I generally thought that was the run. No! We need to reset now. No! You just rush all the time. It could work, but, you know, see what happened in the round two. Like, we just got overpowered them, both spammed. It's just not really working that much. At least for my, my experience, you know? Well, let's keep going! We're not giving up! We're not giving up! Also, what happened to Trapdoor? Uh, on Monday, Trapdoor said he's gonna be streaming daily. And I have never seen him live. What happened to you, Trapdoor? Stop throwing and go live! Maybe he's live right now. Who knows? <laughs> oh my god, it's Goof Days! Wait, why? Why is the Goof Gang back, Dino? What happened? What happened? Why are the Goofs back? <laughs> why are the Goofs back? <laughs> hey, what I know? You were forced. <laughs> oh no, you were not. Wait, that... Padlock, are you Gooflock as again? <laughs> Wait, who started the game again? I genuinely want to know. Who started the Goof thing again? Like, like, Goof things used to be, you know, an April Fool's joke, but now they're back. Yes, okay. <laughs> Padlock is Gooflogged. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm not sure what's happening right there. That Steve's one health. Now dead. I'm not sure what did the opponent do, but uh, now we can just take this favorable position. Play from the ship. Okay, that guy did not push, and now there. Yep. Coming back right there. Yep, I hit the teammate. You got this, nice, very cool. Who is not XVR is also such a thing? Wait, XVR is coming back as well? Making a comeback, all these... I don't know. How do you call these? Are these, are these friend groups, cults, or gangs, or what are these? Valuf, Grey, Dino, and you. Okay. Yeah, I know that Valuf's, Valuf is uh, Val Goofs or something like that. Dino is Goof Day. Padlock is uh, Goof Logged, you know? Hello. We're literally doing the same thing. Hello. 
<laughs> what are we doing here? My teammates are literally just murdering each other. Why did I do that? We just had a staring contest there, and my teammates just died. <laughs> and what's Gray's goof name? Is it just like goofed? No, you think they're still there. Kevin Zar thing. Goofy. Ah, goof. Oh, right, because Gray here, yeah. Gr from Gray here to Goof here. I see, I see, I see. Or, yeah, I, I, I don't know what happened there, Pine. I, I had a Papega moment. I just brain ported and just decided to stare at you. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there, okay? <laughs> Starting in two. Go, go, go. Okay, a risky opening. Let's see the... Oh, that's... A kill if I would have not messed up the shot. Now we can just take this middle position. And just crossfire these guys, try to hit them as much as we can, just hit that guy, follow up, and now he's dead. Never mind, he went the other way. Very cool. Okay. Now I'll, tr I'll try to live and analyze my own games here, right here, okay? I'll try to live analyze. I'll try my best to yap and still focus like... Okay, of course if it's gonna be a 1vx scenario, I'm just gonna go just full quiet and actually try to focus, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Oh yeah, plushy cam. There's N. I didn't even talk about the plushy cam. There's N and Uzi. Both of them are from uh, the Murder Drones web series. You know, Murder Drones animation made by Glitch Produ Productions, and I really love it. So I bought the plushies, you know, of course, just to support the indie animation revolution. Yo, hello. Is there mini face? <gasps> the Dino mini face. Yo, let's go. Yeah, th that's the essential part of Dino's skin, the mini face. <laughs> You're not changing your IGN or your skin because you think it's useless. Like I, like, I haven't changed my IGN for 11 years in Minecraft. You're playing in an event in two weeks and we goofers. So we just change... Uh -huh. Oh, so you guys just change your name to goofs for the event. Ah, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. I remember whenever the Pingu community was alive. In in the good old close set beta days. Everyone just started wearing Pingu skins just because Joker did it once. And then it was just a Pingu revolution. Oh my god, the good memories, Island Warriors. Did you guys know that there used to be a newspaper, a weekly newspaper for uh, Island, like MCCI? Did you guys know about that? Like in the closed beta days, Suit Snap, you might have uh, heard his name from someone e or somewhere else as well. Assistant Commissioner of IBL, you know. He even played in Cooking with Bl Gris uh, last um, season as well. So, there was basically a, whatchamacallit, a newspaper, which covered all the MCCI news, okay? It was, it was so fun, but sadly Suit Snap just decided not to make any more. I don't remember the exact reason. Probably took um, a lot of, time, lot of time off him, you know, and he needed the time for something else. Okay, I'm just getting uh, crossfire right here, so I'm just gonna be dancing. Oh, none of my none of my teammates have health. That's fun. Okay, well, we just go midguard here. Try to keep my teammate alive. What is teammate doing? What did? Okay, it's bad luck and Dino. Very fun. Oh, I did not hit Dino. Apparently, I did not hit Dino there. Oops. What? I heard... Oh, I hit... Oh, I hit this guy. I hit this guy with Levy. I was like, okay. Let's turn around. <laughs> but yeah. Doom. Yeah, so there was a newspaper there. Uh, every every week, there was an interviewed person. I sadly did not get into the interview. Unfortunate, you know. There was always like a monthly crosswords you could do. Which was all about island stuff. And then, you know, like, um, into the newspaper, even the Pingo com community got in, like, you know, Pingo invasion of MCCI! If you have seen some Pingo skins on MCCI, don't be surprised. You know, and uh, it was so cool. The Discord server is uh, the Discord server is still up, by the way. I'm not sure if I can uh, make any invites for that, uh, but, you know, I'm still in it. <laughs> crit, not crit. Oh, sir. Oh, okay. How much am I allowed to Uga here? I'm not really allowed to Uga here, sir. Whoops.
Where's my, where's my pickaxe? Bro, I accidentally pressed Q so my pickaxe disappeared for a little bit. Okay, it's so hard not playing Battle Box when you guys are gonna. <laughs> when we are playing, yeah. It's tempting to play Battle Box. The very is tempting. And this is Trio Time Pog, by the way. They're contesting. I missed everything, so now I'm dead. Ouch. Yeah. I missed my potion, I missed my arrow, that's just a GG. That'd be just a GG! Alrighty, uh, actually, uh, let's actually start analyzing some uh, Battle Box games, okay? Let's analyze uh, some of the preseason Pandemonium IBL professional Battle Box games, alright? I'm gonna AFK here. Actually, before I do that, I kind of want to go for a pee break, all right? Uh, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get some music here. I'm gonna go for a pee break. Do not go anywhere, guys. After this like two minute break, uh, I'm gonna be back and we're gonna be analyzing some IBL games together, okay? We're gonna be analyzing some uh, IBL games together here live, okay? So do not go anywhere. It's gonna be fun, hopefully, maybe. So for now, fuck you advertisements. No, no, fuck you ads. I just, I just want a music here. I just want. Uh, let, let's do some rock and roll today, guys. Okay, I'm feeling rock and roll today. So you guys get to listen to Nova Prospects, Lady Volaki. I'm gonna post the link in the chat as well if you want to, want to listen it to your own. Okay, please, ads, just stop. I literally got two 20-second unskippable ads on YouTube. Like, what? Why has been why has been there a lot of 20-second unskippable ads? Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to be right back. Two minutes, okay? Do not go anywhere. After this break, I'm going to be analyzing some Battle Box games. Professional Battle Box games. Okay. Uh, enjoy the music. Welcome back! Yo! <laughs> Alrighty, let's get analyzing. Also, my food has arrived. Somehow, my brother actually managed to just completely sneak into the room. Like, my room is uh, closed, like, I closed the door. So he needed to open the door and then come in. I was so logged in, I did not even notice that he came in. <laughs> now there's just food next to me. Like you guys, you guys love it uh, when just food just randomly appears next to you guys, right? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, let me get up a game we're gonna be looking at today. It's gonna be 
Serpentine versus Nova. So now this is the time to spam ping Thor mood. I'm pretty sure Thor would really want to hear me analyze his game. There you go, classic. That's what I wanted first. First round, classic. Um, where does the start here? The analysis is your favorite part. Heck yeah. Yeah, maybe I have... Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to the stream quality here, but it's not me, okay? It's it's not me recording. All right, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get some food here as well. Like, open the food here from... From a fast food place, okay. I'm not really gonna be advertising. Okay, I need to. Um, is, is this fine? No. Um, how do I do this? Uh, no, here, here. Where? Are you? Okay, okay. I figured it out. Don't worry. Got beaten four zero. Yeah, four zero in maps. It's crazy. Well, the first two maps, Serpentine played like. Um, I think Serpentine completely forgot that there was a mid element to Battle Box, and you know, that's why they lost the first two maps. Noah just got free fields. So that's why we're watching the the fourth and final game here. Classic. So I should be moving my plushie cam a little bit away so you guys can see some stuff. Um, uh, there's a plushie cam. Plushie cam and plushie text. Oops. Plushie cam gets to move here. Just block the chat, because why not, I guess. Block the Arcane chat here. There you go. Push cams over there now. Should be better. There you go. And our chat? Uh where do we do where do we put our chat? Um our chat. Oh, this was in such a nice spot. I don't want to move the chat. No, I'm not moving you guys. Full screen. Oh, full screen works. Um, but then the plush cam kind of blocks this thing. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me think. Here and here. There you go. Nice, good. Yeah, yeah, I always want you guys to see the plushies. So let me open the things. Why not get a straw? I did not receive a straw. Oh. I did not receive a straw for my sprite. I'm kind of angry. Uh, okay, but what do we have here? Very nice. We have some fries and the burger. A burger. Now I got the other one. I got the Burger King ones. I got this and um, I dude, that that's a lot of fries. What the heck? This is a crazy amount of fries. Okay. Sorry, sorry. No, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten any breakfast or lunch. Yeah. Okay, cool. They put the drinks in cups. Yeah, yeah Burger King does that as well. Okay, anyways. Uh, I probably should actually... I'm gonna press the record button as well. Because I can actually make it into a YouTube video as well. I guess, uh, you know, some free YouTube content. So, okay. Yay! I press start record as well. And today we're gonna be analyzing the preseason pandemonium hosted by Arcane. Serpentine versus Nova. This is the finals, okay? It was a BO7 series, best of seven in maps series. Every game was best of five rounds. And now we're gonna be analyzing the fourth and final map of this uh, matchup. It's gonna be uh, between two IBL teams, Serpentine and Nova. And we're gonna be analyzing Classic here, okay? Classic is the, one of the newest maps in the IBL pool. Okay. So we're gonna take a look how it goes. And of course I'm eating some lunch as well because I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> so let, let's look at the lineups. You guys cannot really see here, but the lineup for Serpentine today is gonna be Simply AC, Manzo, Sky Warrior, and uh, Kubo, okay? So two of their A-League players and two of their B-League players. In Nova, the lineup's gonna be Deep, you know, nicknamed as Q Baldi, the GOAT himself, Deep, you know. There's gonna be Alex the Droog, there's gonna be Gizzy Mizzy and uh, Cool. And maybe Thor mood as well. I, I don't think Thor played this map though. But Thor was playing the other maps, so okay. And the Nova basically has all of their A-League lineup here, alright? 
So A-League versus two B-Leaguers and two A-Leaguers. Let's see what happens. Round one. So basically classic, uh, as you guys can see, is the... Uh, also, I'm gonna go up full screen because I, I sometimes wanna draw, okay? I sometimes wanna pull up the very, very high-tech and advanced Microsoft software, you know, I use uh, for some drawing, drawing some arrows, some analysis. So let's see, let's see, what do we have here? So Classic is the first ever IBL map, okay, no, not IBL, the first ever MCC battle box map. It has been ported into MCCI. There are some building blocks as well you can use and a lot of utility. One of the kits is a sharpshooter and um, that kit has three levitation orbs. What am I wrong about? <laughs> Did I already mess up something? There's three levitation orbs uh, on sharpshooter, okay? Three of them. Which is easy... Yeah, cl yeah, no, classic is the first. What do you mean? Classic was in... Uh, watch me, MCC2. It's the first one. Courtyard was only the second. Firetouch, how is going? We're currently analyzing some IBL games. Nova versus Serpentine. Yeah, Classic was in MCC2. Yeah, and in MCC1 there was no bell box. So Classic was the first one. Okay. So here on this map, the sharpshooter is the most valuable kit right now. Like, three levitation orbs. One orb of milk. A quick charge, one heavy crossbow. It's just crazy amount of utility. And there's another kit, which uh, you can see Cool's holding. You have an offendable non-enchanted crossbow. And you have a golden apple in that kit, so that's one of the only heals you get that for me for this map, okay? There's a trickster kit with two levitation sparks. If you look at the map, there's a bajillion amount of lava here, okay? Once Burp turns around, there you go. A bajillion amount of lava. This no, this map is very goofy. Taking notes for Battle Champs right now. Wait, is Battle Champs actually gonna be playing on this map as well? They're having a plobby tourney now. Wait, is it actually? Oh, wait, hold on. Blob announcements. Oh, it's prison. It's sadly on prison, it's not on classic. <laughs> but still, anyways, it's some good advice I'm gonna be yapping here. Okay? Right here, we see Deep contest the tower. We don't really see what the serpent is doing here. Uh, but I would advise looking right here. I'm pretty sure it's Menzo. Get shot. And lava. And Lava. Prison's your favorite map, Brad. Yeah. Menzo immediately dies to Lava. <laughs> In seven seconds. The round has only started uh, about like seven seconds earlier. And someone already died to Lava. This can happen on Classic. There's a lot of orbs you can use as knockbacks. And a lot, well, not really much of arrows, but there's a lot of angles you can find with arrows and orbs, both of the, with both of them, where if the opponent misses something, they just fall into lava. And now, Nova has an opening pick. It's 4v3. Classic is really hard to, it's really hard to clutch up on Classic. Okay. So once you have a 4-3, four, four, you know, like a man advantage, you genuinely just want to go triangle, 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 okay? You basically just want to, like, go in. Sandwich these guys, okay? Just completely sandwich them. Do not let them any breathing space, okay? You do not want to give any breathing space to the opponents once you get the, op the opening pick. Oh, that's a good advice on any map, you know, most of the times. Okay, we see Sky already using up his gapple. He has from the flanker kit. And Kubo's on the sharpshooter on the uh, Serpentine, okay. That's interesting, petting the plushies, heck yeah. You're petting the plushies, there you go. Pet the plushies, let's go. Yeah, petting the plushies is more important than analyzing, okay? Petting it, the plushies is more important than everything else. So now we can look at, we, we can have a look at Serpentine's fill, split here. And we can look at Alex the Droog right here, okay? So what most likely could happen here? Is Serpentine stuck in this corner? And Nova has a free mid control. But on Classic! The mid is so exposed by Lava. So exposed. You can see Alex placing some really nice walls right there, you know? It's so exposed. One wrong step and you find yourself into Lava. 
So it's genuinely not really a great idea to put mid pressure on this map. Okay. Unless. Unless you are the trickster. Because I have mentioned it earlier. The trickster has two levy sparks. If the, trick if the trickster goes into fill, then, you know, something bad happens to him. Oh, I have two levy sparks. I'm fine. I can just get the heck out of there. Okay. Um, so that's very cool. Deep and Kubo exchange some levy orbs here. The levy orbs should be used for mid, by the way. Well, I guess on on Nova's side of things, you know, well, mm, I don't know. Actually, it it was a good levy orb usage. Because, uh, from both sides. Because levy orbs can be used aggressively as well. And you still have two extra levy orbs for the mid. But now. Sky killed deep. Now the advantage is gone. But now you can see Alex in middle. Alex is already filled in five um, five blocks of pressure. Kubo needs to hit a Levy Orb to meet to deny. And then even after um, Kubo hit the Levy Orb, Serpenty just needs to go in. Serpenty needs to go in and deny the field by meleeing, okay? Or knocking people off. A single Levy Orb is not enough to deny. You need to follow up with the Levy Orb. Kubo shoots. You do not shoot there. No. You immediately Levy Orb. No Levy Orb? What? You immediately go in, Kubo gets away with it somehow, even though Levior would have been way easier. Maybe Kubo would have been able to hit the shot as well. Now it's a 2v4, 2v3, yeah, yeah, 2v3 I'm pretty sure, for Serpent, Serpent 3, Team 3 up, Nova 2 up. But Nova's in such a much better position. Kubo's basically dead meat right there. Kubo needs to play until uh, he or she, I don't know. Whatever, until Kubo dies there, okay? It's so much easier to do pronouns in Hungarian, by the way, because in Hungarian you just have one pronoun, ö, and it's basically for everything. You just say ö, and, you know, not complicated. Whatever. So, there is Cool, and I'm pretty sure that's uh, Gizzy, yeah? Cool and Gizzy. Now, they have six blocks filled in. What they can do, actually, here, if this... Sir l let me just draw. Actually, I want to draw here. If this Serpentine player doesn't go in, then uh, basically what Noah can do here is to have one person jump in, stab Kubo, okay, and as soon, and while Kubo is being stabbed, the other Serpent, uh, other Nova member can jump in as well and just feel, feel, feel complete. So basically here, Kubo actually cannot even fight here. What Kubo must do? is replace all these blocks here, okay? All these reds into greens. That's what Kubo needs to do. And there's apparently two people who still can guard mid. So actually, it might be a Serpentine win if Kubo decides to fill. Let's see what happens. Kubo actually started filling, that's very good. But then Sky Warrior died to lava! That's one of the covers dead! Anything can happen in this classic map. Anytime in the game, someone can just fall into lava and completely just flip the round upside down. And now Kubo is basically getting traded up at the and it's all up to AC. Can AC win the 1v2 against Nova? Kubo gets one block in and gets away. Okay. Now AC does the does the correct play, trying to deny Nova from uh, completing the field, but then he gets punished. Straight in the lava AC goes, and now it's a one health Kubo versus two max health uh, Nova players. It just, yeah, you're just not winning that. There's no way you're winning that. So what the biggest mistakes of Serpentine here was, is um, Kubo should have stayed outside. Kubo should not have been the first person to get into the fight there on the mid, no. Kubo should have Levy Orb, shoot. Levy Orb, shoot. And then once... Once there's no more teammates that could just go in and stop the fill, then that's the sharpshooter's turn, okay? Sky should have baited. Like, we, we have no clue what happened to Sky, okay? It was off camera. We have no clue what happened to Sky there. That's the thing. Sky jumped in instantly instead of baiting the jump, and he got bowed. Ah, I see. Yeah, but he needed to deny. This would have been the correct play, is Kubo Levy Orbing, and then people trying to jump in, okay? 
Or also wait, uh, Kul was in that tower, and there was two Serpentine players there. The other thing Serp could have done is the try to gangbang Kul that right there. But yeah, it's a nice Nova win. But uh, where this round actually got decided is by... Well, right here. This is, this is what decided the round. Nova getting lucky and Menzo falling into lava. And now... Okay, Nova still could have thrown away the round, but now Nova did it correctly. You see Alex there. Alex putting pressure on mid and filling actually was the correct play here. I'm pretty sure Alex is the trickster kit on this map, okay? So that's why he went into field. Very cool. So what we learned from here? The sharpshooter should be the last person jumping in. Or the sharpshooter only can jump in, you know. Sharp you can jump in as the sharpshooter uh, to the mid scramble as well if like there's no other teammates close by and you need to play desperation, you know, stuff like that. But let's see. Can Serpentine bring it back? Can Serpentine equalize? That's the question here. Let's see what happens in round two. Round two here from their spawn. And also was a little bit hidden from, you know, didn't really have a clear sight from Serpentine to see that he was filling. But anyways, round two here. We'll see if anything different from the side of Serpentine. Alrighty. Now we have the same same kind of setup, you know, slow game. Let's see if there if there's something funny happens in this round again. Okay, Cool's already going in, trying to get some ground. Because no one realized that the Serpentine players are like, oh look at this positioning, man. Stop being so entertaining, scales. Uh, I'm a nerd right now. I'm just yapping right now. Okay. Look where the Serpentine players are. Cool pushed in like this way, okay? On the bottom left corner. Cool pushed in like that side. There was no one in Serpentine that controlled this tower. Which means no one can go in, take it for free. There's one Serpentine f player in spawn. And that's Kubo. That's the crossbow. That's the Levy Orbs. The Levy Orbs should not be playing that far back in spawn. The Levy Orbs needs to see mid. There's, there's two more players uh, in front of spawn, and there's uh, one more player controlling the other side tower. So now Nova played it correctly. They took the map control that Serpentine gave them. AC trying to retake. Oh, Kubo was zero health! Oh my god, Kubo got lit up this early. That's some nice shots on Nova. Like, see Deep's positioning. Deep's on the tower. Very nice. He sees mid. As soon as the midfield happens, Deep will be able to deny. If there will be a happening here. Now what no one needs to do is uh, not to put pressure on mid yet. Just go completely triangle, triangle. Because these guys are stuck in a corner. And most of them are very lit up. Especially Kubo. One shot on Kubo and Kubo's dead. There you go. Noah's pushing in. And okay. I, I, of course Alex puts uh, pressure on mid. That was, the that was the correct play as well. Because he's the trickster once again. Now Sky goes in to deny. And now it's a mid-scramble. In my opinion, I personally would not have put pressure on mid, but it was a good play, okay? I would have chosen to try to just completely sandwich these people, because they were in a corner in a very bad positioning. But, but the midfield was a correct play as well. You know, like, one shot on Kubo and Kubo's dead. Well, I guess Kubo was so out of position, so the midfield could happen. Is Alex or... Alex is already feeling... Wait, no, Kubo is not out of position. Kubo is just not looking at mid. Alex is already feeling. What the heck? What? A serpent he did not realize there was a feel happening? Like, Kubo's right here. That's the crossbow kit. You, you just throw levy orbs. Well, I guess there's two people just chasing you down, so... You know, you're fearing your life instead of uh, focusing mid right now, so... I guess. That's why the sharpshooter should be, like, in the center. Center of your team. And should not be fighting, like, these kind of fights. Because if Kubo would not have been uh, distracted by these guys, then that would have been easy. Levy Orb. Levy Orb. Levy Orb. And Alex is basically dead unless he can Levy out. Now, the first responder is Alex. Uh, not Alex, I'm sorry. Sky. Sky jumps in. Deep follows. Sky tries to... See? Alex. Alex senses danger. And because he's the trickster, he can get out. He just gets out. And now it's a mid-scramble. 
AC lags. That's very unfortunate. AC just lags there. And then what what happened? What actually happens here? Nova ends up getting the fill. But just look at look at the beautiful day way they they're getting that last block. Look at the beautiful lay. They actually damaged Sky in the air enough and then placed the block under him. Look at that. That was crazy. Again. Or the other to where they can get mid. Again, this round was win by Nova, Nova because uh, Serpenting got really unlucky again at the very beginning of the round. Kubo gets hit twice by an arrow, which means um, Kubo cannot contest mid as much as they would have loved to with the Levy Orbs and stuff like that, you know? So that's the mid guard gun. And then Nova's just hitting even more and more and more and sh more shots with, the, with all these arrows. And then now Serp is forced into the corner. Noah just seeing all these opportunities and taking it. Even Noah has not made a single mistake yet. Eight blocks I'm pretty sure this round they will. They and they will be punished. Break the block place. You have the block in the offhand. It is just detrimental to Serpentine. Yes, I have already watched this match. So... Yeah, I, I already watched this match. And I just want to analyze it because I think it's a very interesting game. Very interesting map, I mean. Okay. Let's see what happens. And it is the match round now, for Nova here. They can look at off camera here, what's happening here. here. I'm pretty sure this is the round where Manzo pulls off something funny here. Okay, there you go, Manzo's already here. Yep. Look at this beautiful play by Manzo. Look at this beautiful play. It's so pixelated, but it's beautiful. So what Manzo does is with the four speed sparks he can use, Goes out, rushes all the way under deep. It just comes out. And what Menzo does correctly is targeting the sharpshooter. Which means the sharpshooter's in a fight. As the sharpshooter, you do not want to take, you know, take early fights like this. Because then you cannot mid guard. So Menzo's here stabbing deep. Which means Serpentine could easily just put some map, uh, some mid control, or just shoot down deep. But, now both Alex, now both Alex and Deep are focusing on the uh, stabbing Manzo. But look at here, a Serpentine player player trying to get to mid and gets to mid and starts the field. And now, Deep blunders. Deep blunders. Because what's happening on the other side? Another Serpentine player sacrifices themselves. Another Serpentine player sacrifices themselves. Deep is still in a beautiful position to deny the midfield, but Nova did not realize that there was a fill happening. So what Deep does, he will jump down into the mesh pit. Instant Deep just could have turned around, look at mid, check mid, is mid fine? Are the opponents putting pressure on mid? And then what he could have done? Levy orb. And get a free kill. But instead, Serpentine does such an amazing sacrificial play. The opening pick. Just sacrificing AC right there as well. AC even gets out cool. And now! All the Nova players are stuck in spawn. Deep the mid guard is not watching mid. And now Burb's gonna turn around. But it is a and whoops! Whoopsies! Eight blocks in for Serpentine, and Sky's getting that last one. Even if Deep would have hit that Levior right there, Sky gets the block down. Like, there's literally no way. No way of stopping Sky there from filling. And GG. Just look at the beautiful distraction plays by Serpentine. And it all started with Menzo targeting the opponent sharpshooter. And then AC following it up. That was beautiful. Okay. That's the Serpentine we want to see. Not the one that, com that uh, always blunders mid control. Like, again, this round could... Nova could have came back in this round, okay? But it, it was deep right now. 
This round, Deep just messed it up. Deep should have let his teammates take care of AC. It was a 3v1. Why, why, need, why make it a 4v1? Like, why? Just 3v1. You still beat AC in a 3v1, right? No? You should be beating people in the 3v1s, no? Yes. Deep should have looked to mid and Levy orbed. And then Sky won't have the fill, and it's uh, suddenly Nova's round, so. Yeah. Why didn't you on the. Nova got completely bamboozled by Serpentine's beautiful sacrificial hit play here. Yeah, that was beautiful. That's why I picked this right game. Just because of that round. That round was completely beautiful. Okay, let's see. Number four. Yeah. What does Nova do? What does Nova do to try to bring this back? Anyways, round four of map four. And we have more of a... Deep takes his tower as usual. You know, halt from Serpentine here. Let's take some map. Yeah, everyone's just playing um, a little bit um, laid back right now. And now, what's happening right there is Kubo is pushing as well. And Menzo trying to do the same thing. Menzo trying to target deep once again, but now, oh, for some reason, he just doesn't go in. Because Sky feels immediately. Okay. I just reroll a little bit. On the other side, we can see that Sky's right there. So Sky decides to go in. Um, with this setup, I would not advise Phil for Serpentine. Unless Sky is the trickster. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure if Sky is the trickster or not with the Levy Orbs. No, Levy Sparks, I mean. Because there was a guy there was a person all the way back at spawn, and there's two people. These people don't see me at all. Like, if you want to put pressure on mid, then the opponent's gonna be jumping in. Like 90% of the time. So you want to be, you want to have your players, let me draw. You basically want to have your players in positions, for example, top of tower, below tower, or like right here. Oh, I guess spawn is fine. Yeah, spawn is fine. You want to have your people on positions that you can deny these jump-ins. Jump in, jump in, like jump in from there, from there. You want to play target practice here, man. If you're up at this tower, for example, let's say Deep's jumping in, you can shoot him in the air and, f and make him fall into the lava. But now, Sky's field just does not work simply because uh, two of Serpentine players are just right here, not in position at all. And I don't think these guys uh, were just uh, thinking about covering Sky. I think the idea was to do this. Isn't that, that's a person, right? I'm pretty sure that's a person. Maybe. To just murder that person, to weave on them. I think that was the idea. Yeah, right, right there, cool. I think they just wanted to two weave on cool right there. Oh wait, I'm sorry, what, whoops, that was Manzo. I'm sorry, nope. That wasn't Sky, that was Manzo, I'm just dumb. There's Sky. Sky was the person uh, on spawn. So, what's happening right now? Manzo's, Manzo is distracting Deep. That's a good play. You're distracting the, again, you're distracting Deep, deep again. So he's not gonna be using the Levy Orbs, you know? But now Kubo and AC should be covering Sky. But that's not happening. Kubo and AC are pushing in to attack cool. Sky has no cover here. And now, deep! Actually, first of all, you know that cube the guy, welcome Bigfoot, how's it going? First of all, Menzo did not come into this round. Let me just draw. Last round, Menzo come full committed, like went right to this. Now, he just goes in, decides to dip. I'm pretty sure because uh, Serpentine realized that oh shit, Sky is feeling solo. We need to we need to cover Sky. But Menzo was playing correctly here. He should have just continued to put pressure on Deep because now see Deep turns around. He has a Levi Orb in his hand. What's gonna happen? Pew! Levi Orb mid. Right. Instead, Kubo and AC should have been the people who are trying to protect Sky. Like, these positions are pretty decent to cover middle. Tower and tower would have been even better. Now let's see what happens. Levy Orb hits on uh, Sky. Alex jumps in. Why does G Deep jump in again? I just don't know. Why, why does Deep jump in? Menzo was not really paying any attention to you. Okay, that's an interesting setup. Serpentine has uh, two, uh, two blocks filled in. So Deep's gonna just try to refill again. And now Kubo finally de decides to use uh, their Levy Orbs. Let's go! 
Serpentine sharpshooter were looking at mid, heck yeah. And now Deep's dead. Deep's dead, but there's two people there. Okay. Alex Alex jumped in because he had the Levy Sparks. Levy Sparks out nice and safe. But um if you look at chat, off camera, two kills have happened. Like first of all, AC decided not to continue pushing with Kubo. So Kubo dies. And then Sky tries to get out. Sky dies again. Sky, I mean, uh, Sky dies as well. To easy, easy. And now we have two serpentine players in very bad position. In mid, completely open, have nothing to do. Deep even levies them. You cannot even feel. You just basically can hope for the best at this point. Well, there's some desperation plays here. You can try. Like one way to try to get this back is to stay on mid and then try to knock people off as they're jumping in. Or another desperation play, try to get out there, turn around and then bow people who's trying to apply mid control. But there's nothing really that um, AC and uh, Manzo could have done here. This is a losing position, because now all the Nova players are just um, centering around mid. And, okay, cool trades himself for some reason. Well, I guess the trade is good here, because it's a 4v2, so you want to simplify. But see, AC gets out, not AC, no, AC dies. Manzo gets out, I mean. And gets shot into lava himself too. And that's the game. Lava kills. So no wins. AC get the pick. That is game. Cool. No one wins the game. What a beautiful game it was. Map, I mean. We only watched the map for now. So basically, let's recap. First two rounds. Serpenting at an immediate disadvantage on both of the rounds, okay? First round, Menzo falling into lava was very unfortunate. And then another person falls into lava from Serpentine Sina as well. And basically Serpentine was playing a 3v4 there. For the whole round. And then a 2v4, just because of the goofiness of Classic and the lavas. Second round, Serpentine gets um, smooshed into the corner. Nova just sees an opportunity and goes in for it, takes it. And they even get a field on there. But then, round 3, we see a spark of light from Serpentine. And they did an amazing strategy. This Menzo immediately going in for deep. For the opponent sharpshooter. Okay. To distract them from middle. It worked round 1, because they committed. They tried to redo it against, um, again in round 4. But Serpentine changed some stuff up, like for example, Kubo was not looking at mid in round 4, and uh, AC was not solo pushing, AC was pushing with Kubo on the right side, and Sky went for the fuel again, but Menzo did not full commit as well. Menzo decided to just turn around and not fully commit uh, on the fight to deep, which was the biggest, th these two differences were, were the biggest one. And that's why Serpentine's field did not work on round 4, but worked in round 3. Okay. So at least we learn for Classic. Sharpshooter is the most important kit right here, because it has 3 levies. And only the Trickster kit is allowed to fill, and uh, to put pressure on mid. Because if anyone else does it, they don't have a quick and easy escape route, okay? It applies for solo queue as well. If you wanna um, apply uh, pressure to mid, did Nova get a fill? Uh, two fills in this round. In this game. Map. So, yes. Round 1 and round 2. Right here, we can rewatch round 2 here. Kubo gets tilt up early, and Kubo's not watching mid, see? Sharpshooter's not looking at mid. And now Alex already went in. Alex is right there. That's just a bad, sec bad execution from Serp, exactly. Two blocks, three blocks, four. And now, you know, you, you can hear Kippy saying uh, two blocks, three blocks, you know. Alex is feeling there. Kubo's distracted by two people trying to stab them. So there's not no Levy Orbs coming in. Sky's the first one to try to deny, but it's a little bit too late. And, you know, that was very unfortunate that AC decided to... Not AC's internet decided to just, you know, completely fuck them up, so... Yeah. But finished by getting the lava can even be a make a break. Well yeah, played from cool, yeah. It, it was a really well played from match from Noah. 
Round, th round 3, Serpenty decided to just go like god mode, like, that's what happened, like, okay, round 1, let's talk about round 1, like, unlucky. It happens to everyone. It happened to me a lot in screams. <laughs> just me getting knocked into this same exact lava pool. This happens a lot, which is crazy. It's super crazy. And now, see, basically Serp is just playing 3v4 and Alex is putting pressure on mid. Like, Alex is a trickster, that's why he gets uh, gets away with all these uh, midfields. See, like, trickster, and now he just levies out. Okay, I, I lied. He levied out the other round. <laughs> Let's see, sky, sky fell into lava, cool knock, AC into lava as well, now Kubo zero held. Unwinnable. First round was unlucky, second round was uh, Nova Tactical Genius, then third round was Serpentine being Tactical Geniuses, and then the fourth round Serpentine tried to do round 3 again, but then they did some adaptations which were not necessary. That's what happened in the last round. Alrighty. Do we wanna see another map? Do we wanna see another map, maybe? Hmm. I could be yapping because I'm still eating my lunch. <laughs> I'm still eating my lunch over here. <laughs> Why did they do spaceship? I'm not sure. Spaceship, I can... S I let's see another. Okay, let's... Yeah, sure. Uh, do we want to see spaceship? I guess we can see spaceship. Well, uh... Can you watch Spaceship? Yeah, sure. And yeah, I guess we're watching Spaceship. Hey, Thor is actually playing here! Yo! Thor is actually playing. Let's go. Is my AC going on? Air conditioning? Yes, it is. It's still pretty hot in my room. What the heck? Mm. So I still have the burger. I still not started eating the burger. I was only eating fries. <laughs> Little sprite. I still did not get a straw for this. All right, well, let me open my burger. I want to actually start uh, eating that as well, and then we just start. We're gonna start spaceship here. One second. We'll see how this plays out. So basically, the lineups for spaceship. Serpentine has the same lineup of uh, Menzo, Sky, Kubo, and AC. And now you can see on Nova, Deep is not playing. Deep is not playing. My Deeper MC. Why did he sub out on Spaceship? Does he hate the map? Or why? I just genuinely don't know, like, on, on this map, why did Deep sub out. I don't think it would be a really cool map for him, even. If he would be playing it. Oh my god, this burger looks so good. The bacon actually tastes amazing. Trapdoor, how's it going? Yes, that is a scales. Well, here you just don't see any deeper MCs. And that's the thing. Uh, we have analyzed classic. This game's classic. And now we're analyzing spaceship in a second because I'm eating a Borgor. <laughs> I'm eating Borgor from Borgor Kang. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Very good. Hmm. Oh, this is good. Alrighty, spaceship. I want Burp to get an angle. Like, where's Burp just walking around? You have been laughing about the Morpheus poster that Red posted. Oh, oh the Morpheus poster that Red posted? It's literally the same thing as, uh, like... Morpheus got an MVP award um, for one of the games last season, and they just posted the same thing. It's actually funny. Or was, was, was there some? The one you made at 5 a.m. exactly. <laughs> are you excited for. Oh, wait, is AG and Tavern A Leagues are screaming today? Yeah, here, here's the old poster. This is what Trapdoor made Nightmare vs. Goldens. And uh, let me find. And here's the new poster. <laughs> oh, the 5 and 2 is there! <laughs> they left the 5 and 2 there, yo! That's so cool. 
That's so funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get into spaceship now. Okay, space station, spaceship. I call this map whatever, you know, either ship or station, whatever. Basically, the first thing to know about this map is the one we want on the top. This top area just has so much vision that you always want to contest it. You're so glad this is going to reflect on Morpheus and not on you. Heck yeah. <laughs> the poster thingy. Hmm. So basically, for the team who actually wins the 1v1 on this top platform, they just get so much vision and so much up, so many options. So like about 90% of the IBL or stream games that has happened so far in Spaceship, 90% of the times the team who won the 1v1 for the top, top mid control ended up converting the round. But nowadays, actually nowadays, teams starting to develop some strats, you know, to actually not go up to the 1v1 spot. See? Cool already going up. It's gonna be a cool versus AC, but AC gets shot! Someone else from Nova shot AC immediately, so AC doesn't make... Ah, uh, never mind, AC makes it up, but still is shot. And now, heal orb trying to... Try, by Serpentine, there was a heal orb trying to heal AC. Did not work, sadly. And now, Cool and Alex just win the fight. Nova has a free pick and the top control. Meaning Serpentine cannot run around in this ring. Because if Serpentine tries to run around in the, in the outside ring, then they're just gonna get both spammed to death. Thor immediately starts cha chasing Sky right there. Okay. Very cool. And now Thor dies. <laughs> Thor got gangbanged there. But now Nova should be trading the other person, okay? Nova should be killing Kubo there. But Kubo got a pick up to Alex as well. <gasps> oh my gosh. Now it's sadly. Now, now it's a. Uh, not sadly. Mm. Now it's suddenly. Suddenly. Yeah, that's the word why I was looking for. Suddenly it can be anyone's game because Gizzy gets a kill on this guy. And now it's a 2v2. Cool is still up top there. We do not see where Gizzy or uh, Menzo are. We see one person right there. I mean, uh, Gizzy or AC are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But a 1v2. Okay, Serp tries to bait some mid rushes. Oh, you know, AC. No, I'm, I'm dumb. No. I'm dumb. This is a 1v2 from Menzo. AC already died in the 1v1. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm throwing chat. I'm sorry. It's a 1v2 from Menzo. Cool jumps down. And now Cool has mid control. While Gizzy covering him. It's just basically a super hard, mostly unwinnable fight from Menzo. Best thing he can do is just. Jump down to mid and then hope for the best. Jump to mid, step cool and hope for, hope for the best. Like, I think that's the best thing Manzo could do. Manzo tries to bow spam, but then Nova does not want to take the 1v2. Or 2v1 rather. They know Manzo is goated at video games. So they do not want to take any chances. Nova has mid. They're going to complete it. 1-0 to Nova. Basically, they just simply won. <laughs> they just simply won the top one v one and converted the round. It's just so dumb. Indeed, indeed. But we'll see if. It's just so dumb that uh, this map completely revolves around the top mid area. Um, Serpentine have any counter? It's just crazy. Okay, let's see. Round two. Let's see who goes up to take the one v one from both sides. And now there's AC again and Cool. AC versus Cool again. You wouldn't say so. I would say so, though. Now AC drops down. Okay. Cool gets healed. AC can get away. This time... Playing ground can mean other strats. Yeah, but you just get both spammed, basically. If you don't play top. If you do not contest top, then you're just gonna get both spammed. That's the problem with it. But now... Instead of dying, AC actually drops down. So it's not as bad of a position as uh, dying up there, okay? If you lose the 1v1 up top and they have a person die, it's basically, like, very, very likely that you're not gonna pull that back. But now AC survives. So it's a 4v3 on the ground, with uh, Nova having the high ground, and uh, just anytime they want to, they can just both spam down uh, Serpentine. Let's see what happens here. Okay. 
and she gets healed by Sky. Now Nuba starts to chase some Serpentine players. Where are the other? Oh, but they get uh, cornered. Sandwich rather. Now they're just 1v1s all around the map for some reason. Nova's just not playing solid. Nova split up so much. Like why? Why do you split up that much? You have top control. You just want to play solid now. Like, what's happening here? Nova is just so much split up. Like there, there, and there. And now they just get shot down by Serpentine. Serpentine rotated around quickly and just sandwiched Nova. And now suddenly, even though Serpentine lost the 1v1 for top, they have a better position here. Manzo gets a kill on Alex. Cool jumps down. Cool gives up the position, but it's just too little too late. Manzo spot dealt so much damage to Gizzy and Cool. They're basically dead meat. Kubo gets one. And Kubo just barely wins the second. 3v1 Serpentine. It was a good adjustment. It was a very good play from Serpentine. As soon as they realized that AC lost the 1v1, they just went for the sandwiching Nova. Nova was caught um, split up. Two split up. So Nova just got died. Just died, died, and died. Which basically means even if you win up, win the top 1v1, you still want to play solid. You want to play in areas where your top sniper can just support you, okay? Not in these atrocious corner buildings where your sniper cannot support you. You want to fight out in the open. It's like you might as well go, just go in and try to win the 4v3 before the top guy drops. Yeah. That can happen. But if you do not contest the top, then the top guy will be just, you know, both spam bow spamming all he wants. So that's the only problem with that push. Now Tor is in a 1v2, guys just raid on the Kobo. But yes, as you can see, Serpentine just did, uh, took mid control. GG. Even if Serp did not have mid control there, they would have been winning the round anyways, because it's a 2v1. Tor mood only has like 4 health, the other two Serp players were max health, so yeah. Very well played by Serpentine. It was a very nice ca counter strat. For losing the 1v1 I mean. That kind of counter strat I meant. Okay. Let's see. Round 3. Who are the 1v1ers? Is it gonna be Cool versus AC again? Cool going up. AC going up again. And now AC wins the 1v1 actually. Hmm. AC won. So Serp won the 1v1. But Cool still survives. Okay. And now... That's just a mash pit. Kubo Menzo went in. Into a 2v4. And what did I say last round? Why are we fighting here? Why are we fighting inside the corner building? We won the top. Like, like Serpentine won the 1v1 on the top. Why are we rushing into Nova in the corner building? Like, it's basically just completely throwing out the advantage out of the window, you know? Completely throwing your advantage out uh, the window. After winning the 1v1 for the top you contested. Like, you want to use that advantage. So now by these two Serp players willingly going into the corner building and trying to take fights with no one there. They just don't have the support of the sniper AC up there. It's it just not happening. Yeah. A big mosh pit. I'm not sure. This If Serpentine realizes that mid is open, they could actually get away with the fill here. In this corner here. Cool goes, cool takes if Serpentine would have filled here, all four players of Nova are in a corner. Free fill for Serpentine. If Serpentine fills here, then this sacrifice would be justified. Okay, let's see. Does Serpentine fill? And that's just a mesh pit again. No, they did not fill. There was no mid pressure. And now it's all over. And, cool takes on and, is and now Nova just cleans up. Nova oh. wins the round. Nova wins the round that Serpentine should have won. Down down. Serpentine won the one we won. But the mistake here was not using your advantage yeah. that you have fought for. Like this distraction. This was a full commitment push from Serpentine, but if they would have used it as a distraction, 
and then AC from top could have just immediately dropped to mid and start filling. Nobody was looking at mid from Nova side. Nobody was watching mid. They were all just so focused on taking care of uh, Menzo and Kubo in the corners. They were not looking to mid. It would have been an easy fill. Like either that, or just simply do not follow Nova into the corner building. Like if you have the top control, you just want to take fights in the open, not in the corner building. That's the biggest thing here, okay? Biggest takeaway. Let's continue with the next round. Round four. Um. Also, it's very. This is a big, you know, the most out of the heels. It slept on all this time and is really healers here. And we're going to see if Alex Adrug is, in fact, healer of the IBL, healer of the year. Or, you know, Sky Warrior just getting slept on all this time and is really one of the best healers in both A League and B League. Okay, let's see round four. Now, Serpentine immediately pushes. They decided to go super aggressive. Okay. Cool goes up. We don't see the 1v1 on the top. Can I? Can we burp, please? Burp, burp. Mr. Streamer, please. We don't see the 1v1 on the top. Mr. Streamer. Did they see even go up? Cool goes up. I mean, we just don't know what's happening on the top. That's not good. Tormu drops down. Now, Alex and Gizzy are kind of in a bad spot there. But now Thor's trying to flank. Nova is just so split up right now. And Serp re realizes that what's happening to Nova. It's a 3v1. Of course, they're just gonna stab Thor. But does, does Nova do anything about this? Like, this looks like just a free kill on Thor. Does Nova follow up? They pick on tour. That's huge for Doesn't really look like it. They're just taking 1v1s and Sky is putting pressure on mid. Very good. Very good. You have the man advantage, then you might as well put the pressure on mid. Heck yeah, there you go. Sky's my goat. And now, even though Sky's gonna die here. Oh, he's a healer. Ooh, that's actually bad. Healer dies with orbs. Even though that happened, now. Nova players are in a very bad spot, and now a trade fest has been initiated. So now it should be AC trading out Cool or Alex, or both. AC still survives, Kubo coming in to try to trade as well, Alex still has some heals, and AC bonks his head. Just so unfortunate. Trying to levy up. But then bonged themselves into the staircase. So I see straight into lava. Okay, oof. Straight into lava, I see goes. And now that's very bad for Serpentine. It's basically 1v2 for Menzo. Not men. Oh, wait, no. Two people. What? No, 1v2 one one for the Nova player. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. 1v2 for the Nova player. And even though. <laughs> Almost everything went bad for uh, Serpentine here. They just won the trade fest. Which they should. Like, this was a winning uh, position from Serpentine. Like, very cool. GG. So, what decided this round, we may ask? Because we did not see a 1v1 on top. Nova had free reign of top. What was the problem? How did Nova did not come? How didn't Nova convert the round? You already see. Thor. This counting exercise. One, two, three, versus one. Tor cannot be helped here. Nova cannot help Tor here. Even if there's a person above, if even if Cool is right here, he cannot help because they're fighting right under him. He does not have angles for this fight. So Cool basically is just out of the game. It's not really doing anything. Thor immediately gets stabbed. 4v3. This is where the round was lost from Nova. They basically played it to 4v3. Even if even if you have a mid control, like see, Serpentine is just playing under. Serpentine doesn't let Cool to both spam them at all. And now Sky puts uh, pressure on mid, so Cool needs to jump down. See, Cool jumps down from the top. And then there's uh, Gizzy trying to deny as well. And Alex as well. 
Oh, Gizzy falls into the lava. That's what I missed. As well. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Okay. That's what I missed there. He gets a great heal. Just quick flick. Up. So Serpentine initiated this straight fast as they should have, and just closed out the free round here. Take a free shot and yeah, that, that round basically got blundered by Thor. Just solo pushing in there. Solo pushing would have been fine if it would have been in an open area. Thor fought them right under. <laughs> right under the top. So cool could not help him. That was the mistake. Absolutely. And just going on the topic of filling, next map is... Final round of the, of the map. Let's see what happens. Um, classic, which has a ton of lava. So filling is going to be interesting. Plus, replaceable blocks. I'm still eating, by the way, so that's why I'm not talking that much. <laughs> mm. um. Alright, we have a 4 0 split. It seems I'm OTQ go does get shot. Oh, There's a ton of lava. Okay, let's see. So filling is going to be interesting. Plus, let's see what happens. Blocks. Does Serpentine contest top again or not? What happens here? Kubo gets shot. Menzo gets shot. Menzo gets shot again while using the regen spark. But Menzo gets shot a third time and dies. First five seconds of the round no already has an advantage. Basically what happened here? Nova was just bow spamming and Menzo ran into their fire. But there was like three there was like at least two people just watching here, see? Uh, Gizzy and Alex were both both just pre-firing this way, and together they took down Manzo. Manzo needed to wait just a little bit there. Send up AC and then push. Send up AC to the top and then push there, okay? And now Nova Cool went up to the 1v1 spot, Cool has rain again, above the top spot. Let's see, can Nova convert it to this time? Let's see. Now Nova plays way slower. Tries to pinch in Serpentine. AC takes the 1v1 up to Cool. But Cool knocks AC down! So the Levy Spark just got used up and it did not really do anything. But that was the correct play from Serpentine. Try to go for some desperation. Try to contest 1v1. Kubo gets down to a. Kubo gets a sh slain by Alex. And now there's two isolated people. There, there's AC right here and Sky's like right there. Sky is in a 1v4. AC is out of the fight. Nova converts. All right, you're back. You were beating up some vegetables. Well, you and you came back to the end of uh, spaceship. Welcome back, Trapdoor, by the way. Cool jumps down, finishes up AC, and Sky dies in a one v three. Clean round by Nova. That was a very clean round by Nova, which uh, started with uh, Serpentine being a li little bit impatient. If you start pushing. After you send up your 1v1er, then the opponent are most likely gonna try to help Cool win the 1v1. So they're not gonna be as focused as on you and on your push as they was. Because they, they sent all four people to the left side as well, Serpentine. So there was really nowhere else to look and shoot for Nova, you know, but that one way. And then they ended up getting the early kill on Manzo. So yeah, very interesting matchups, very interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed these ones. We watched the Classic and Spaceship today, but now I kind of want to go back to grinding a little bit, you know? Uh, we're going to put the plushie cam back. I still did not finish my food, by the way, that's the funniest thing. Um, uh, Plushy cam, plushy cam, go back to its original place, yo plushies. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna post these analysis uh, analytics on uh, YouTube as well, if you guys wanna rewatch at any time, okay? It was good, heck yeah. I do not want to bore you guys with this if you don't, uh, if you are uh, not curious about this, okay? I hope you guys learned something today. I really hope so. Like, that's why I'm doing this. I want to educate you guys. Just make Bellbox a better place. And a more competitive place. Okay, of, of course I got kicked for AFKing. Uh, let's just try not to accidentally join the tester servers.
Yeah. You love hearing competitive talk because you just hold the W key. Yeah, it, it, it's enough for only one person to know the theory behind the, the maps, honestly, for the IGL. If the IGL knows the theory behind each map, then that's already a huge W from a, for a competitive team. Okay. Like, like yesterday, for example, on the Golden Goldens, on Slay, the first two rounds we won, but not uh, dominantly. Because Casey did, like, uh, some theoretical mistakes, you know? He made some mistakes in theory. But, you know, but then, you know, I uh, told them what to correct, and then the next two rounds we just flawless the Goldens. Goldens A-League, by the way, not B-League, A-League. We are facing B-League versus A-League. Or Beer League versus Golden's A League. Oh, yeah. It's just really good for the IGL to know all the theories. Theories about old maps so he can help the team just be even better. Um. You're just proud that your A League won against uh, your B Leagues? <laughs> Heck yes, cast gameplay! Yes, sir! Yeah, I remember we were fighting our A League as well, like Shotglass versus Tavern. The first day we completely beat the shit out of Tavern, the A League lineup. But then the next day, the redemption arc just started. And then Tavern, the A League lineup, completely beat the shit out of us. Let's not die with, let's not die with utility in hands. Use up everything. So yeah, it's currently one... Ouch, I could not reload in time. So it's currently currently 1-1 one, one in scrims. <laughs> Between Shot Glass and Tavern. Both were dominant victories. Yeah, we have not had even a scrim. An even scrim, yeah. It was just one-sided. First day it was one-sided for Shot Glass, then the next day it was one-sided for uh, Tavern. It was crazy. But yeah, again, guys, I'm gonna um, say it again. IBL starts next week, and and we're Shot Glass is already playing at Monday, Monday 3 p.m. EST. I hope I hope that Trapdoor is gonna be commentating it. Trapdoor, if you're Trapdoor, if you're casting that game, then please make sure to watch me on Classic and Villa, okay? Just Classic Villa first round, just please watch me. I think your guys is playing as well that day. Ooh, okay. That's sad. And who's casting it? Okay, we want to shoot... Yep. Sir! I want to shoot the AFK so we get kill credit in case he AFKs out. I did not hit the Neo. It's very sad. They did not go to mid yet. Oh, it's Dippy. Okay, I'm not doing that 1v1. I'll grab your gang up on the random first here. Where's the random? He ran. We still have a level orb for mid, for mid kill. He's trading my teammate, right? I gotta put some pressure on mid. No, teammate! No, teammate, you don't feel! You cover, you have the more health! There you go. We just need we just needed to just uh, burn the time off DP there. There you go. We had the like see two v one end games are always winning unless you fuck up. Two v one end games on any map is always winning unless you fuck up. See, just play time. One person feels. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not going that way. No. I wanted to do that. Oh, he's a healer and has a potion. No. I'm just gonna regroup with my team here. Following me now. Oh, bro, what the heck? Ouch. That's unfortunate. Uh, I should have regrouped with my team my teammates like 10 years ago. Ah, oh, that was my fault, unfortunately. But Lime field another round. No, they did not. Oh, they just have all the kills. Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> oh god, you have like three days to make a make like nine skins for Nightmare. Oh no, Panda. Good luck with that. I believe in you. You got this. You got this. 
Just make one copy and then copy it over to the other skins. You like to, them to be unique, so more than just the patterns. Ah, I see. Yeah, but it's more work as well. But if you don't have time, then you might as well just copy paste. If you're out of the time, you know. I should be drinking a little bit more. Oh, classic! Yo, now we can use our knowledge we learned. Now we can use our knowledge we learned um, from the analysis. Yo, Itai! And I'm gonna drink one second. Mm. Very good. I do not have time to blow my nose. That's very sad. Let's see. I wanna see something here. Run. Let's see. What lines do I have from here? Oh. Oh, look at this line. What? I can actually shoot. What the heck? Okay, I just found that. I just literally found that out you can do that. Okay, now those guys are just cornering my guy right there. So we do that. And that. Flashbang that guy. This guy's one health. Very nice. We can just go in aggro. Triangle, triangle, triangle. And we win. GG. Very clean. Okay, not really. It was a 2v4, but still. The opponent just basically grouped up right here. I could get a bajillion free bow shots there. I, you don't need to know, Trapdoor. It's, it's a tavern thing. You don't need to know. Hehehe. <laughs> Yeah, we basically got the bajillion free shots on them. And then whoever was right there, they just knocked two people into the lava as well, which is crazy. Like, this map is just so goofy. See, like, whoa, one of my teammates already died to lava. Oh, that was a very nice levy from the opponent. And I'm in lava now. Man, Classic is such a goofy map. It's gonna be it's gonna be so much fun watching Classic in IBL. Everyone's gonna be dying to lava. It's this map's gonna be so bad to play in competitive play, but it's gonna be so fun for the audience. Why does Trulu have uh, so much outer layers? Oh no. Oh that's very bad for skin making. No. Mm. Mm. Let's just let's truly do something fun here, okay? I just do something fun. Yoink, and we go here. This. Tick, tick. Puck, puck, puck. There you go. Hello, sir. I'm probably dead here. Trying to split me! Trying to split me! There's another person loving up to me! Oh yo! I died to teammate one! I'm just gonna sacrifice myself! Yo, we win! <laughs> we win! That was a fun round. Classic will probably be the most banned map. Uh, probably yes. But this is such a fun map to watch. You, you, you're just obligated to pick Classic for the audience, okay? Because this is such an entertaining map to watch. Everyone just falling into lava. But there's gonna be so many funny clips here. <laughs> Nom. Also, Trapdoor, when are you gonna be streaming? Didn't you say, like, on Monday that you're gonna be streaming daily? Oh, you got sick immediately. Oh, fuck. No way. You got, your eyes are hurting uh, all the time. Oh, fuck. I hope, re I hope you recover soon enough. Very soon, I mean. Yes. Okay. Now we just follow Ratips. Try to help him with as much <laughs> as much as we can. We follow Ratips here. Oh, that's a frag. Let's use it as some... Speed boost. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I'll let him get away. I don't fight those guys, honestly. Do that. We can take them together, guy. Sure. Triangle, triangle, triangle. We did not triangle. I cannot catch up to any of these guys and now it's a 1v3. Bruh. Uh, I really dislike playing this map. This is so melee heavy. Wow. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I cannot bow spam because um, it, this is only a quick, an unenchanted crossbow. Rig sucks, yeah. Now, Rig is a really good map though. I just hate it. Rig is like, in my opinion, one of the best designed maps. But, uh, yeah, I hate playing it by itself because it's so melee-oriented. And there's, like, no outposts I can take. Like, for example, in Watermill, I can take tower. I can just take tower and crossbow spam, be happy with my life. But on Rig, there's no such kind of outpost. I completely hit the wrong person, by the way. That's not a frag, I'm stupid. Why, why, why did I do that? Uh, I only can do that with frags. Poisons have uh, much, much faster of timers. Okay, there's both of them there. I Teammates, please, come up. Please, teammates. Yes. We're gonna group up. Apes together are strong. Guys, apes together are strong, okay? That's the motto of, of Rig. There you go. Very nice. <laughs> You're going to snipey. Hey, Valence, how's it going? Yeah, go ahead. I just want, like, whenever you guys stream Snipey, I just ask one thing, that is, uh, just play your normal game, like, you know, for example, do not throw for me and for my win streak and stuff like that, you know, just play like you would normally. You will? Heck yeah. Room. Also, I remember, like, uh, like a month ago or so, I remember Forio sending me... A really funny clip on Slay that happened, which basically she accidentally like giga yeeted uh, an opponent in the water elevator. Hello? Like giga yeeted, like the opponent came up, Oreo hit uh, the opponent with the arrow, and then that person just flied like 30 blocks in the air. And it is, uh, well, it is very hard to replicate, betting the plushies of course, very nice. It is very hard to replicate, but it could be used to get up here. Right here, into the rig roof. Because this thing is still not barriered. Even though the other side is. <laughs> you haven't seen Forio in ages, neither have I. Neither have I. I have seen her uh, last on Monday. When I was streaming. It was a normal arrow, not a punch arrow, normal arrow. And then I did some in the investigating, and turns out the arrows can receive Giga Yeet as well from water for water elevators. Okay, like how? I'm not. I'm not sure. Do you guys know like how you can? There's a trick to gain more height with water elevators for people. Couldn't you do it with a self farming orb? Uh, no. Uh, let me explain it, let me explain it. It's basically... She hit the person as soon as the water elevator gave the giga boost to the person, okay? Like, as soon as the person came up, the arrow actually went into the water a little bit, okay? Ouch. Yeah. The arrow basically went into the water a little bit, and then connected with the human, the Minecraft player, okay? And then... Game miscalculated and basically just sent them flying into the like 30 blocks. And then I tested out yes, the arrows can receive the same effect as humans can. Well, the thing is, you need four blocks at least four blocks of water here. Because what you need to do to get a normal, uh, like human giga eat from the elevators is to exit in the between, uh, in between four of the blocks, okay. Because for some reason you have more force if you exit uh, in between four blocks. Like if we could, uh, if we could, would get it on Slay, or I could, yeah, I could show it on Slay pretty well, or Spa. Both Slay and Spa, it would be really easy for for me to share, show the thing to you. Also, I could just whip up the clip as well. Uh, 
<sighs> I'm throwing. <laughs> Why do I dodge here? I yeah, yeah. What? What am I doing? <laughs> You could make a plobby so you can just pick the map. Ah, eh, nice, fine. No, I already investigated. I can just... Actually... No, wait, there's still a round three. There's still a round three. One second. We gotta step some people and then we can... Then I can show it to you guys, okay? Hello, sir. I win! Yo! I finally won a top 1v1. Also guys, do you notice that the arrows are actually doing 4.5 damage here and not 4? Do you guys know why that is? I know. That's why I'm asking you guys. Because I know what's happening here. <laughs> so basically the arrows damage is actually not preset. The arrows damage is basically what their speed is. That's how it works in Minecraft. The more speed the arrow has, the more damage it, do it uh, does. So that's why instead of 4, it does 4.5 if you shoot from the top to down. Mm, I can just show it to you guys. That's my Trickster on Classic can do 9. Exactly. <laughs> just go up in the air and be happy. Um, what did I do? Soft workers, yeah. Um, I guess we create a backup and load. I don't know. So this is this is basically uh, my solo word where I test a lot of stuff. Uh, slash game mode one. Creative. For example, haunted house tree dog back. I was testing here. I remember. Uh, we want to go to here. There, there's still some arrows here. What the heck? So basically, if you're a human, you can just do this. Room? Like, see? Like, for example, if I would be staying here, I would not get, you know, like, yeeted that much, okay? But if I jump from here, tries to do the trick, there you go. It landed me so far there. The red block is my PB. Red block is my PB, okay, it's so hard from this corner. There you go. Now I made it up to the green there. Whoops. I'm in creative. I forgot. So th this kind of elevator boost can happen to people. Now, well, where's my bow? Erm, crossbow. Bow. Bra. Oh, because it's pistol. That's why. It's pistol, not crossbow. So, like, if you do this... Uh, no, I did it with a bow. Maybe I should just pull up the clip. It was a very specific lineup. Hold on. Erm, 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 erm. Where's my bow? Minecraft bow. Very specific. Like, see, the arrow's not really doing that much. And now... Hmm. This? Like, if I get the angle for this and the strength, then you will see, like, see? You see the arrow just co just coming up, like, real big here. Right, like real high. There you go, there you go, there's one. So the arrows get the same, literally the same thing can happen to the arrows as people. And that's why it happened. Actually, I, I think I can show you guys the clip as well. Hold on. Let me get in one sec. Like what I'm actually talking about. Because it's a very funny clip. Erm, erm, erm. Now, of course, after we will continue grinding. No, don't you guys worry. Erm, erm. Here. Clip, clip, clip right here. Screen one. I do not know. Take me to the clip, please. There you go, person will come up here. And no, that guy did not have Levy Orbs, or Levy Spark. Isn't that crazy? 
But it is just literally the small things in Minecraft, the small things in Minecraft physics, how they actually can be used to just do some funny stuff. Like, it's crazy. This is literally crazy. He be flying, exactly. And that guy would have gone even further if there would not have been like barriers above him. Which is fucking crazy. But that just blew my mind when I seen it. I was literally grinding for exams then when I uh, when I received the whatchamacallit? When I had received the clip, okay? I was literally grinding for exams, but it, it, it was so interesting to me that I wanted to know. I, I just couldn't sleep. I just wanted to know what was happening in that clip. Yeah, it's basically Minecraft physics miscounting, which is crazy. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get back to the grind. We grind for a little bit longer, and then, yeah, Itsuko. We get world record. World record this day, this day, okay? We had a really nice 6 run earlier. Can't wait for scales to study battle box physics. I already did, what do you mean? It's Minecraft physics, I already studied it. Oh, free potion, yes. I love free potion. Free lava kill, yes. Free, that's our, our frag. Okay. Why are the opponents are playing there? What's happening? What's happening? Why are the opponents? Check me in. Oh no. You follow me guys? Yep. I have another one, sir. There you go. Brag trade. Very cool. Ooh, that, that was a little bit too scared, too close for comfort. <laughs> Man, this kit is all about utility, you see. Like, this kit on Villa has literally been just fucking found it for me. Like, I did not need, need to do any bribing, but this is just literally my kit on Villa. Just so cool. That guy just completely went around my teammate. And now we want to go under him. The teammate picked up the pr the po potion. So I'll play right here, so the opponent can shoot us from the spawn. Very nice. Check our wreck. Some locks in, and now we help our teammates. Oh, I did not see that they placed it. No, no, I hate it. I hate the webs. No, fuck. I didn't even see they placed it after death. I just wanted to come back here and control this. No. No. <laughs> you love Vilas Kids bad luck? Heck yeah. Vilas Kids are fire. Especially that it has uh, wood swords instead of stone swords. Because then you're not going to be stabbed that fast. And because there's wood swords here so instead of stone swords, the... Bows actually deal what do a lot more, you know. Oh, free potion gaming. I love free potions. Oh, sir, I wasted my free potion. You are not allowed to play that spawn area or the lava area. I meant, I went through everyone. Heal, I man. Didn't you have heals? I have no bullets, I have one bullet. Oh, how do I throw that easy? Ugh. Man, how do I throw that easy fight? No. GG. Well played by the opponent, though. They did not rush at me. Like, I was expecting them to just completely rush at me immediately, but no. They actually used cover. That's interesting. Very interesting. Wait, I have been live for two and a half hours. What the fuck? That's why I'm playing so bad then. Okay. Because I'm tired. No. Okay, I guess then this is gonna be the last run. If we lose, we lose. But we want to win. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe to not tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm not gonna be live. Maybe next week we're gonna get VR. No, today we're getting VR. That's the winner mentality right there. Yeah! <laughs> Only two and a half. Yep. 
Um, yeah, also next semester is gonna be starting, and uh, you know I have been studying maths in Hungarian for like four uh, four semesters, right? But now I'm kind of forced to study maths in English. And I might have mentioned, but I completely just hate, you know, maths in English because they're just so dumb. Like there's just so many dumb words that just much easier in Hungarian, you know, instead of English. Hello, Mr. Healer. You know, so I need to learn all these random English uh, math stuff, you know. All these English math stuff, and I'm gonna be learning stochastics, so it's gonna be high, very high level maths. And I'm gonna be forced to learn it in English instead of my uh, native tongue, Hungarian. It's gonna be really interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure how will it go. It may end up really badly. But the reason why uh, stochastics is only studyable in uh, in English in my university is that um, not really that many of Hungarian uh, students uh, choose uh, this uh, line, you know, this specialization, this stochastics, you know, so that that's why uh, the course is only start in English and not in Hungarian, you know. Yeah, like, there's literally only me and another person who picked stochastic up from the Hungarian courses, okay? It's literally that bad. It would be two of us if... If it would be Hungarian only, you know, then it only would be the two of us. There you go, potion. English has a lot of weird words, it's the only language you speak. Ah, I see, yeah, it really does. Like, what, what? Equilibrium. Like, egyensúly. Like, what the heck is equilibrium? Like, I know what equilibrium means, but why? It's such a simple word, but why do you just need such a complex form of a, such a simple meaning? That flashbang was very very great from the opponent. That flashbang... Equili yes, exactly, equilibrium. Like, in Hungarian, it's called egyensúly. Egyensúly means, you know, like... How do I, tra how do I raw translate it into English? Hmm. Great movie, and not the, not the movie, the verb! Not verb. How does it say? I don't know. The verb, let's just say verb. If you don't know any of the verb, words mean, you just do the maths. Hmm. But if I do not know what equilibrium is, then how do I do the math? Like, I remember trying to help one of my um, English-speaking friends in uh, homework, you know? And then I just see all the perpendicular hypotenuse and these you know these words oh yeah and then half of, half of the fucking uh, maths words in english is basically just latin and latin is a dead language so fun like who the fuck would you like uh who the fuck would call it hypotenuse like of the right angle triangle hypotenuse of the right angle triangle like what? No. Atfogu. It's called Atfogu because, uh, because in the the long part, the long, uh, yeah, the longest. Uh, what is that side? The longest side of the right angle triangle is in between the two shorter swords, like like the two shorter sides, like two hands. They just hold the hypotenuse, the longest, uh, the longest side. Okay, so that's why at fogo, and not hypotenuse. And what does that even mean? What is a hypotenuse? You should actually download Duolingo. Any suggestions? Uh, I tried Duolingo once to try to learn French. Did not work out. Like Duolingo is not gonna not gonna teach you anything. The Duolingo is only gonna teach you some words. Like, it's, it's good for... Why did I jump there? Like, Doling, Dolingo is uh, really good for your vocabulary, but uh, you're not gonna... Why am I alive? Ouch, there you go. Like, uh, watch my uh, You're not gonna learn any grammar from Duolingo, just give it up already. You're not gonna learn any grammar from it. Only vocabulary. So, you basically need to learn grammar on your own, and then use uh, Duolingo if you want to learn some vocabulary. 
Rovno hava just means equal weight. Yeah. What language is that? Trapdoor, what was that language? I, I don't know which language is that. The Ron, Ron, Ron Vohava. Do that. They didn't push. Well, I, I fell down. That, what is that guy doing there? Is he trying to be sneaky? He's right there now. Oh, teammates blocking my bullets. No! Teammates block the bullets. That's so unfortunate. But now we finally get around with you. Oh, check. Oh, okay. Sounds like a lot of work for someone ever play <laughs> planning on living style. You got a new hat? Heck yeah, Valms. Your living state. Yeah, not sign. You state, yeah. Okay, I I'm very tired, guys. I'm sorry. I have been live for like two and a half hours. That's a lot for me. I usually am live only for one and a half hours. Dude, an analytics is actually like uh, takes a lot out of me. Is anyone live? Trapdoor, are you gonna be live? Is anyone live that I know of? And we just search for MCCI. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Sorry. No, oh, unfortunate. Well, I guess we're just gonna end it here then. Thank you guys for watching once more. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, tomorrow you will try, but today ain't happening. Oh, unfortunate trapdoor. Yeah, also, uh, before I go, I have a Discord. If you want to get notified, I literally created the Discord just to ping you guys whenever I go live, you know, because why not? But yeah, see you later, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and then... Uh, now it's in the pinned, pinned message, pinned message. I'm too Ooga Booga to bring in fucking Nightbot and Stream Elements bots to do these comments. Ah, I just don't know how to do that, man. And I'm too lazy to figure it out. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm gonna probably be back on like next week. I'm not gonna be live on the weekend, but probably next week. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, see you later. Bye! Um, I'm waving goodbye, by the way. Bye!